Yo ho 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 ho! Hey there everyone, so Cal, oh yeah, I played this game with a controller, it's pretty great. Great Empire, Super Mario X, last time, wow, we're still only at 93%, last time we fought and destroyed the Great King Bowser, but uh, there's something that we have unlocked also. If you'll remember, at the very edge of the skyscrape, sky town, stargate town, wow, well, really, gonna make it an issue to get up there. Is that what really you're up to? There's a magical door that required seven stars to enter. That now I can enter in. Welcome to Special Zone! Special One! Classic Kingdom! Okay, so we've got Sky with flying vegetation. Well, the Classic Kingdom. Let's see what up with that. Well, you look pretty classic, although I don't know if you're a kingdom. Well, you are a mushroom. Well, you are probably like uh, the inhabitant of a kingdom, so... I suppose it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! So I guess this is, you know, classic kingdom. It's gonna be all Mario One style, Mario One uh, sort of gimmick level there with things under the bush to make sure to preserve the bushness of the bush. It's important to preserve our natural equality. That's why I threw that fireball there, by the way. It's to have a protection when we are at the rebound. It's important to protect yourself when doing a lot of rebounds. Is uh, that's why uh, people always hair a bicycle helmet when they are, um, you know, playing basketball. Uh, this, however, is pretty interesting and neat. I like all these bushes and stuff in this underground-like hellscape, although the section seems to be pretty short and pointless. Suddenly we are a-swimming! Pretty amazing, I know. It feels like some sort of insane uh, piece of radish, but it's already over. We're now in Treetop Town. I guess we're going over all the themes of Mario 1. Craziness! That was a mistake. Well, I mean, we exchanged hits, essentially, in the end. So it's not, like, a complete loss. It's not a complete wash. I am kind of a little bit panicking because I'm kind of going a bit too fast, perhaps, so it's hard for me to really anticipate some things. I guess I gotta go in a castle! Oh, it really is like Mario 1 in review! Ah! With the goal right at the end. With, you know, the, the little Hammer Brothers just kind of being a little pseudo Bowser there. It's pretty, you know, it's, it's, we, we gotta give him credits for trying. It's, it's pretty hard. It's a pretty hard. Uh, Buckets wear on your head, as they say, and then we got the forest throwback, Megabyte! We're gonna throw back the forest, throw back... Someone... Put some mushrooms in my forest. I for not. I for one, will not tolerate this! The forest is meant to be... A uh, mushroom less sanctum. I mean, otherwise, how come am I still small? Well, I really can't do that, Joe. Yo! I guess I can. Okay. Well, you know, learning things while well, learning things, appreciating things, spinning blocks also with very, very little bounce. Those things. Wow! A wiggler that doesn't really get that rage, but he does get a little line above his back, and that's why. Okay, it gone. It went away. It left us alone. Don't watch out, watch out there, my little friend. There's water and you might fall and also vines all the way in the canopy. Why is that even there? If Mario eats a bunch, does he poop out a cloud that then throws out coins? Because that would be pretty great. I would like it if that would happen. Someone ASM that in Mario World. Wow, Wiggler, you're... You're not, you were never really meant to fall off edges, were you? <laughs> so, why is the only level where you're in a level where you can fall off ledges? That's a question for other people, right? Right, little ninja, ninja Reno. Oh, wow, I just noticed that dip's filled with stakes. That's like, you know, that's a, whoops! That's a trap you can, like, you, you know, they would make in, like, the, the, the New Orleans, yes. The, the, the Middle Ages, you know, New Orleans Middle Ages is basically synonymous. But, um, yeah, it's a, this, this level is really neat. I, I'm liking this level a lot. It's, it has a lot of flavor. It has a lot, I know, of uh, flavoring. It has a lot of very well, a very well made blend of spices. Oh, what? Really? Is that how it works? When a wiggler is red, you can't jump on him for no reason. Changing the rules, man! You're changing the rules! 
in that it ain't cool. It doesn't really rhyme or anything, it just kind of sounds similar, and that's more or less all I am going to satisfy myself with. I know it's pretty sad to, for one, to satisfy itself with a lesser product, but well, sometimes, you know, in this economy, you gotta do with less. You gotta do even more with less, which is craziness. But humans, like, one of their chief skill, yes, is intelligence, but their real, realest skill is adaptability. More than basically any animal out there, humans have an insane, let's say, history of adapting to different climates and regions uh, and changes a lot more than plants and animals tend to, for whatever reason. Maybe it's due to cognition and, you know, and all that, but uh, humans as a whole are also incredibly resistant. Uh, you know, like, I, I don't think I have to repeat that, but uh, the hum humans, they used to hunt deer basically by outrunning them. Like, a deer will, will run faster than a human, but a human will be able to outlast a deer in running. So they just basically have to run behind the, the, the deer until it gets tired, then it can go and get the kill, which, you know, that's, that's how we work. Sorry for that little uh, aside there, but we got a big fish sea, again from Mega Breath. Man, that's a... Uh, oh, whoa, that is a big fish. It's Porka Poofer. Watch out there, buddy! Don't fall in the water! Don't... No, don't fall in the water! Man, I gotta... I gotta save all the Koopas from falling in the water, huh? I don't want them to get hurt. <laughs> you can't do that, Porka Poofer! You can't do that! Don't do that anymore! I'm gonna just sit on his box. Wait for the world to get better. I, I, I just... Oh, ee, dude! I don't wanna... I don't wanna jump on you, Koopa. You deserve better than falling prey to that... No! That jerk. How did that work? That makes no sense, man. Hey there, Koopa. You got a thing up there. I think I'm lightly interested in possibly eating a mushroom, so... I think I'm gonna take the chance. Yeah, 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 yo. I guess that worked out for me. Okay, so now I'm relatively safe. For now, at least. And all of them turtles around. Ugh, I don't know why I became such a pacifist suddenly. It's just, you no, know, sometimes you look at your usual evil, and, like, usually they make you react very. What happened there? Ugh. <laughs> Well, you know, usually you look at your usual evil, but then you see a greater evil, and you realize that you know what, your usual evil—it's—it's—it's you know, it's, it's, no, it's little leagues. It's a little game. It's uh, there, there's there's nothing really to, to to worry about here. There is much greater evil afoot. I knew these feet couldn't be trusted, but with supporting our weight and all that, it was only a question of time before they took their revenge! That didn't go well. I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna scream and possibly die, but I hope I don't die. That would be, be nice! Uh, there's a mid- wow, the first bonus level of fifth midpoint. That's just to tell you how hardcore these fishes really are! Ah! There's a Narmigadon of them, although they're just they're just kind of sitting there. They're not nearly as dangerous. But yeah, you know, if a if a murder a group of murders of if a group of murder is a crow, I know it's the other way around. I'm assuming that a group of Porcupoofer is an Armigadon, and I think that's a very common assumption to make. Uh, I don't want to assume anything here. It was a metric ton of foofer fish. Oh. I'm afraid. They don't seem to turn around though, so I think they're. Ah! No! Why did I jump there? I think they're just reskins of Cheap Cheap now that I, you know, kind of calmed down a little bit and am looking at things with a little bit. Ah! With a little bit more rationality. I think they're just Cheap Cheaps. They won't turn around and stuff. Also, that was a dumb death. Like, nah. No offense here, self, but as far as deaths go, that was, that was pretty bad. It's, it's, it's bad, bad, bad. You know, so, sometimes you just look at something and you're like, yeah, I'll, I'll admit it. It was, it was pretty bad. Ugh, so they're just 
Yeah, they're probably just cheap cheeps. So I was just spending all that time overreacting for no reason. Now I feel kind of silly. Huh? I should I should feel free to kill all the turtles that I want. Even though it's kind of academic because this is another level where the midpoint is way lopsided. And I wonder if there are there is one for every like level in the game. Because they seem to correspond to the themes, so I guess there's gonna be seven. So I guess I'm done for now? If there's seven, then afterwards I do four, five, six, and then uh, last for seven? Seems to make sense to me. This is Lao Cow playing a game with videos involved in some fashion, but try not to understand their relationship too much. I don't want you to get a headache. You know, just get back in bed, even though it's the morning. Just just get back in bed, close your eyes, sleep for another half hour or so. I'm pretty sure there's someone in the house or apartment that's willing to wake you up if you're gonna be late. In which case, I apologize.